so important for every farmer to do a fodder and a grass budget every winter. You can't manage what you don't measure. Hey, my name is John McGuire. I'm a Chagas Dairy Advisor in the Mullinabat office in Kilkenny. We're here today on the farm of Shane and John Fitzgerald in Portlaw, County Waterford, to do a fodder budget for the farm. Doing a fodder, bu fodder budget is a very easy thing to do. All you need is two bits of information. Number one, the amount of estimated stock on the farm for the winter period. And number two, the amount of fodder in place on the farm for that. And then uh, you can see whether you have a surplus or a deficit to plan for the coming winter. Measuring a pit is a very simple task to do. You need uh, three measurements from your pit. Number one, you need the length. Number two, you need the width. And number three, you need the height. And it's important when you're measuring all these uh, that it's all in meters and not, and not feet. In order to get the meters cubed in your pit, you multiply the length by the width by the height. This will give you meters cubed in the pit. And then if you divide this by 1.35, it will give you tons in the pit. I'm Shane Fitzgerald, I'm in the Lambia Chagas Future Farm Programme and a signpost farmer. So the, the importance of fodder budgeting can't be underestimated, particularly in a year like this when there's been grass shortages. So every farmer should do a, a fodder budget, especially because we don't know how long grass could last or cows might have to be in earlier. We might need to have a buffer there for well into March or April. So it's so important to know exactly what you have in the yard because you can't manage what you don't um, measure. So. In conjunction, it is so important to do a grass budget with a fodder budget because you'll know how much grass you'll have roughly then to keep you going till October, hopefully early November, and then the fodder will keep you going then till, till well into the springtime.